Within the last few days, the gaming industry has received delays to some of 2022's most anticipated titles with growing rumors that more games will be moved into 2023. In this video, let's talk about if that's truly good or bad news for Hogwarts Legacy. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button to join our growing community. For those of you returning, welcome back. With that being said, let's get right into it and talk nerdy. On Thursday, May 12th, Bethesda took to Twitter dropping an absolute bomb. They announced that both Redfall and Starfield were being delayed. The tweet claims that the studios want to ensure that the consumers receive the best, most polished version of the games. This is huge news as these are two of Xbox's big title games coming in 2022. Redfall had a summer 2022 release date and Starfield had a November 11th, 2022 date. Yes. Starfield had a set in stone day that the game was supposed to come out. With the already announced Bethesda event on June 12th, this early news is probably to soften the blow and temper expectations for the event. In terms of these two games, Starfield is a larger delay as the game was originally announced at E3 2018. It's been reported that the game has been in production since 2013. Redfall on the other hand? was a surprise announcement in 2021. Starfield is now the second pillar game of this year to be delayed. This past March, there was a massive news break that Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 was going to be delayed into 2023. With these and countless other delays, it truly brings into question how much COVID-19 really affected these studios and their timelines. I'm under the impression that at this point, studios were hit significantly harder than they let on and we have not seen the end of it. So the question of the hour is, what does this mean for other big games still scheduled to come out in 2022? And ultimately, what does this mean for Hogwarts Legacy? First things first, God of War Ragnarok. There have been rumors circling recently that the game will be delayed, and I addressed these rumors in a recent video that I'll link in the description below and the card in the top right corner. Secondly, as a quick word, I don't think this delay will cause any change to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because they are the next generation of mainline Pokemon and will sell no matter what. Most importantly to me, Hogwarts Legacy. I think this is great news. I previously made a video about how Hogwarts Legacy may only have the potential to be released in December due to all the games that could come out in November, but with Starfield moving into 2023, it opens up more available dates where Hogwarts Legacy could be released without overlapping with another huge title. These delays could help Hogwarts Legacy get sales. Not that I think it will struggle, but it could increase sales. How do I think it will increase sales, you ask? I think consumers won't need to be choosing between two different titles that are out within the same window and can buy Hogwarts Legacy knowing that they can save up money for other big games later on in the future and in 2023. It does scare me a bit that everything is getting delayed though, as developers might be afraid to release a partially baked product after the whole Cyberpunk 2077 debacle. With all of these delays, it's almost like all of the big game studios got on a conference call and planned out when they were going to drop the news of all of the delays. I mean, this definitely didn't happen, but if God of War Ragnarok and Hogwarts Legacy get delayed, I'm going to start getting suspicious. As a quick side note, I've seen a ton of content creators talking about the recent Gotham Knights news that they are dropping the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game and they are afraid that Hogwarts Legacy will do the same. I thought about making a video about this, but in my opinion, making a whole video to claim one statement, Hogwarts Legacy is coming to the Nintendo Switch, if it can run on the Switch, it can run on the PS4 and Xbox One, just isn't worth it to me and I would have to drag out a whole video from that one sentence. I wholeheartedly believe that there's a higher chance that Hogwarts Legacy gets delayed than them announcing that they will be dropping the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game. Thank you for attending my quick rant of the week. What do you think? Do you think the Starfield and Redfall delays are a good thing for Hogwarts Legacy? Were you planning on playing them this fall? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for all your support so far, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing so I can continue making great content like this. If you would like to stay connected with me outside of YouTube, head over to Twitter and follow me at Nightly underscore Nerd. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.